We're here to protest Bill C-51. It's a very serious attack on the rights of all Canadians. And uh, it's specifically singled out to attack Canadians who are desirous of change. It it's, is meant to intimidate and bully everyone from not taking a stand against this government's policy of turning Canada into a petrol state and turning and, and lacing the country with these god-awful pipelines carrying uh, uh, bitumen, which is uh, just deadly stuff. And uh, this is not a way to build an economy. And who decided this anyhow? The banks and the billionaires and the oil monopolies, they decided that. They're a small clique. They don't represent the Canadian people. How, how, let the Canadians decide what we want to do with our oil. Anyhow, that's my key point is empower the people. Democratic renewal, the people must decide their fate. The chill effect is intimidation. It's to cower the people and we, and I, that's why I like the youth. I mean, they went out on the street today. It wasn't an art program to go out on the street, but hey, they wanted to go out on the street and they did, they exercised their rights and uh, good on them. The youth are indomitable as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's the young people that are gonna remake this world, man. And they're gonna remake it according to the way they want to be living in a society. The question about Islamophobia is a very important question you raise because one of the ongoing characteristics of the Canadian state, which is racist to the core, and I want to underline that, the Canadian state was conceived as a racist state. It was a British colonial state whose objective was to steal the land of the indigenous nations. One of the ways in which the Canadian state operates is this. When a new group of immigrants come to Canada, they beat the Jesus out of them. They intimidate them. They don't want them to participate in politics. They want them to have their heads down and to be willing wage slaves. And of course, this is the fate of all Canadians who work for a living, really, because no section of the Canadian people have any say in determining the direction of the economy, in determining what kind of constitutional relations we should have in Canada between Indigenous and non-Indigenous, or whether Quebec should be an independent country or not. In other words, Canadians are kept out of politics. The timeline to take an active stand against Bill C-51 is very short because Harper is violating all the parliamentary traditions, all the parliamentary norms to rush this bill through the House of Commons. There are two more actions in Vancouver. One is taking place on Wednesday at 4.30 in front of the Holiday Inn at Metrotown in Burnaby. It's against Trudeau, the leader of the Liberal Party, who voted for Bill C-51. And then the second uh, event, not an action, but an event, we're going to hold a discussion, a political discussion, to elaborate for the people what's in Bill C-51. That takes place at 6.30 p.m. at Britannia Community Centre.